yet another episode of John Works Too Much. So my friend Daryl yesterday, Bernard, uh, called me up and said, hey, I need to put in a door. Can you tell me how to do it? I'm like, yes. Well then today, my other friend Maureen was like, hey, my door doesn't shut, can you help me out? And I'm like, also, yes. And then I thought, you know, the weather's changing and it's probably that time of year where probably a lot of you guys need to adjust your doors. Let me tell you why. Uh, first of all, a lot of, uh, North Texas around here is on clay. And so clay, when it gets hot and it dries out, then it shrinks and it cracks. And when it gets wet, then it swells and it um, grows. And so what ends up happening is when, when it shrinks down, then your house tilts one way and then when it swells up, then it you know, comes back the other way. And so your house can become unlevel. The solution to that normally is you put a soaker hose around your house and run it all the time because you can't always make the ground dry, but you can always make the ground wet. Nevertheless, a lot of people don't do that even though they should. Um, or maybe it's just not enough. Maybe your ground is just that much of a mess. So probably a lot of you have doors that won't open and shut, windows that won't open and shut at different times of year when the weather changes, or you got stress cracks and things above your doors and windows. So here's how to adjust that so that you know your neighbors don't walk in your house and just take whatever they want. Uh, or criminals. So this gap that's around your door, that's called a reveal. And you want that reveal to be the same everywhere. Now I just adjusted this door, so we're gonna kind of cheat here, but um, what you want is you want a door that opens and closes easily, that it catches on the strike plate, and that locks in it, and it's a nice tight seal. But a lot of times, you know, you'll, you'll try to close the door and maybe it's rubbing, and you gotta see where is this rubbing, right? If it's rubbing on the top, then you need to take the screws on the bottom and screw those in, and that'll pull it down, right? Or if it's rubbing on the bottom, then uh, this is the most common way. If it's rubbing on the bottom, or, or up on this top part right in here. If it, this is really tight, and if it's really tight on the bottom, and then there's a big gap and a big gap, then you get inside this hinge right here, you open the door, and then put screws into the wood there, probably three inch screws, and then stick them in there real good, and it'll suck that door up, and then it'll level it back off to where that reveal is the same. So um, really the whole concept is, how do I make this gap the same so that it will open and close? If you're super lazy, which I realize a lot of you might be, then what you can do is adjust the strike plate. This is your strike plate. So what happens is this thing right here catches onto that strike plate, and then this thing right here also catches onto this strike plate. And so you can close the door and then line up and then make a mark and then adjust up or down. This is a French door, so I definitely would not recommend that. But on a regular door, you can just like chisel out a little bit more and then move it up and take the screws out, whatever. So the place that you would put the screws would be over in here. Now what we did on this one, you can get over here closer. Uh, what we did on this one is this needed to be moved out some. First, so I tried to adjust it by moving this in. So I put long screws in here and that sucked it up, but it wasn't enough. And so I took these screws out and I put some cardboard shims back behind there and then put it uh, out so that it would come out this direction. And now it closes. So probably when it dries out again next year, uh, you'll have to take these back out and, and do it again. But um, that is how you adjust a door. So hopefully you learned something today. And if not, then I still love you just the same. All right, bye.